Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do a general reading for my beloveds. We are about to enter into a whole new year, a six universal year to be exact. And Spirit told me to do a reading before we enter into that new year, just to see what's coming in, going out, going on for the collective. Uh, welcome to anyone who may be new. As I said, my name is Q. I too am a Scorpio. I am empathic. I am intuitive. And I am also clairaudient. So you will hear music playing in the background. And the music tends to blend very beautifully with the messages in the tarot cards. This is a general reading. So that means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Do not try to force a story to be your story. You are more than just your sun sign. So check your moon sign, check your rising, check your Venus, check your Mercury, your Mars. Just check your other placements so that you may be able to get a more clear and concise message for you. This is also timeless, um, but we are checking the temperature for what's to come in this sixth universal year. Um, right now, we have Mary J. Blige. Uh, the name of this song is called Destiny. So I do feel like there's something destined that is going to uh, take place for you all in this new year. Uh, what she says in the lyrics is um, searching for my destiny, searching for what makes me happy. Um, so I do feel like, you know, as we all know, a lot of Scorpios, uh, most of those that watch this channel have been wrapping up a karmic cycle, completing some karmic lessons, and now you're coming into what you're destined um, to have or to do or to be. Um, and so this is a very beautiful time and it looks like love. I picked up the deck. Love is on the bottom of the deck. So you may have a destined love that is to come. And this is the number six. And I'm speaking on, uh, the six universal year. Six is all about love, harmony, balance, oneness, wholeness. So this is a very beautiful number. I feel intuitively you are, um, you are feeling this. There's this gumption, this inner knowing that someone may be coming in that's very special, near and dear. Uh, this is going to be like someone that's on your vibration, that speaks your love language, someone that's also uh, very balanced. Um, this is someone I feel the divine is bringing to you because we have the song Destiny. Um, so let's go ahead and break the deck. So we have healing and love. So many of my Scorpios, and these are both the very same colors. And so this is 666. So as I'm speaking on the sixth universal year, and 66 breaks down to three, because 12 breaks down to three. This is showing me that there has been a lot of power, a lot of strength, um, you know, in you acquiring this love, in you obtaining this, uh, you know, whatever you've been going through in your past, you know, whatever lessons, life lessons you've been learning, whatever deep soul healing that you have been um, experiencing, I feel like this is why love is now uh, entering into your life. And also with this, this card, uh, because this is the color of the throat chakra, which represents expression. Um, but it also represents not just communicative expression um, or oral expression, but this is more so about expressing yourselves in a creative way, in an artistic way. So maybe through you doing some really deep dives in your healing process, you've discovered some skill sets, some talents uh, that you began to hone, and maybe you've learned to transmute a lot of the pain that you encountered and experienced from a former relationship or from just disappointing circumstances with family, friends, or even a, a job situation. You've learned to transmute that pain and turn it into something powerful. I feel a lot of you, I'm hearing the word co-creator. So you've co-created with source. Maybe you've discovered that you are healers in healing yourselves. You've discovered that you are great healers. And that solar plexus, which is the number three, um, also deals with your power, your strength, your vigor, your vitality. Um, so I do feel like there's a sense that a lot of you took your power back and you focused on healing and in healing yourself. Now you're becoming more attractive. You're attracting love. And I feel like, as I said earlier with the song Destiny playing by uh, Mary J. Blige, that this was destined to happen. This was a part of your um, life's lessons. This was something you were preordained to go through and experience. Um, 
and you are unbreakable right now we have alicia keys and she's singing unbreakable so i do feel like you have been very resilient in this process of healing so before i delve any deeper let me call upon the elements of water fire earth air ether and spirit ashe i ask our beautiful angels archangels Ascended Master, Spirit Guides, Animal Totems, Earth, Mother Gaia, Universe, Source, the Divine, Most High God, our Creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and light for our beloved Scorpios. I call personally upon Baba Obatala and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition and the discernment of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So let's tap in, tune and see what's coming and going out there on Again, I welcome you if you are new. I hope the messages will resonate with you. To all my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. So we have in the bottom of the deck change. So there's going to be some positive changes. I feel positive. I heard positive when I said change. So look at this. Everything I just said. So we have forgiveness. So I do feel like because this is the number 96, this still reduces to... Um, <clears throat> to six because 15 reduces to six so as i said something that was destined to take place um i feel like through your strength through you persevering through something you've absolutely um will be coming into some sort of new cycle because i feel like it required a lot of um strength a lot of forgiveness i feel intuitively uh and <clears throat> my throat is getting blocked so maybe there's a sense that <clears throat> Excuse me, let me get a bit of my water. So whenever I start speaking to your past, I do feel like I get a little choked up. My throat chakra starts to itch. It starts to block. And so I feel like a lot of you all may have suffered in silence a lot. And it took a lot for you to forgive. But I feel like through you forgiving someone from your past, this is why you're now having this new cycle. Or you're having... Some things become very balanced, like something that's destined for you is now going to, it's going to come towards you. You're going to access it, receive it. You're going to um, achieve a goal. But I do feel like forgiveness was a very big part of why you are now coming into a cycle. And I feel like you've been very resilient. You know, you've endured a lot, but you've overcome. And there's a lot of... Uh, um, you know, messages that you were receiving in regards to forgiveness. You know, forgiveness is always for you. I feel like a lot of you had to forgive someone who really, um, or forgive several people, not just one person, but you've had to forgive people who, you know, weren't who you thought they were. I feel like a lot of you were kind of duped in that regard. And so, you know, maybe you didn't listen or trust your intuition when certain things um, wasn't sitting right in your spirit because you were giving people the benefit of the doubt. And I feel like, you know, regardless of what they did to smite you, to block you, to disappoint you, to betray you, to deceive you, I feel like through the act of forgiveness, um, this is why you're now going to come into some new cycle. You're going to receive a lot of blessings. And so look at this, new beginnings. So you have a brand new beginning that is uh, that you're embarking on right now, Scorpios. And I feel like, as I said, it's because why? Boom. You've create, you've com um, completed a karmic cycle. So every ending denotes a new beginning. And so through the act of forgiveness, I feel like, you know, maybe you've found your voice. You found a way to work through and sort through a lot of the disappointment, the pain, the trauma um, that you've experienced with your your you know these past individuals but i feel like you know this karmic completion is now you know ushering in you into a brand new cycle and it's going to bring a lot of passion a lot of desire i feel like you are going to take um you know more initiative to be more adventurous to be more spontaneous sponta uh, spontaneous um you know to take more risks because i feel like You've, you've really come through a really dark night of your soul, um, you know, dark night of the soul journey. And because of that, um, you're realizing just how fly you are. You're realizing how dope you are. You're realizing that, you know, you are enough, you know, and whoever didn't see that, that's their loss, your gain, because now you, you recognize your own beauty, which is always more important. Self-love makes you far more attractive. And self-love is the best love, ultimately. And when you um, love yourself, you teach others how they have to treat you. 
So right now we have Molly music and this is called Beautiful. So I do feel like you're going to have new beginnings and I feel like everyone that comes into your life is definitely going to see the beauty that is you. They're going to see your beauty inside and out. Um, and so you're going to be very excited. There's going to be um, a very exciting time. This is all um, red and red deals with the uh, root chakra. So I do feel like <clears throat> you're standing erect. You're standing perpendicular in your square. You're starting to speak your truth. You're standing in your power. I feel like your finances are in order. I feel like a lot of you went back to the root cause of your issues and that's why you're now coming out on the other side where you have uh, gained a completely different perspective about your circumstances, about your life, um, even about your childhood. If you didn't grow up in the best uh, circumstances, I feel like you now have a better understanding um, and it's because you've had some sort of spiritual um, awakening. You've been aligned um, and I feel like you've been you know, communing with your higher self. So you've been getting a lot of downloads, as I said, uh, from your spirit team. This purple definitely speaks to, you know, receiving downloads, divine interventions, transmissions from, you know, spirit realm, from the galactic celestial. So this is like really, you know, uh, being discerning, using discernment. Um, that 96, as I said, that represents not only the sixth universal year and the love that's possibly entering in your life, but I also feel like that also is speaking to your, your first eye, your first eye or your third eye is, um, you know, also being, uh, f you know, that's the number six, your sixth chakra. So I do feel like you used discernment and you trusted what you felt, but things are going to be positively changing. And I do see that here with the new beginning. So there's a passionate and exciting new start that you're embarking on. All right, and so we have um, Faith Evans right now. This is called Heaven Only Knows. So I do feel like for many of you all, you had to relinquish control. And, um, you know, because you realize, like, you know, the Most High is the only one that knows. You know, so this is about divine timing, trusting divine timing. See that? What did I say about you having an adventurous new start? You know, uh, embarking on some new exciting um, circumstances. And so couple of the cards flew down and so change came back up all right so you have change so positive changes are coming to you all Scorpios and I, I feel like it has a lot to do with you not judging yourself not judging others just knowing that um, people are who you know people are just simply who they are and you just have to accept them for who they are you know um, maybe some of you all were trying to control the timing of something and the divine is saying that, you know, uh, heaven only knows with the song. So I do feel like, you know, you, you changed your perspective and relinquished um, tr that control you was trying to have and you just kind of gave in and went with the flow. You just kind of went with the flow of things. And I feel like that's what's going to lead to a lot of excitement and joy and happiness. This is a positive change. Um, it's the end of, um, you know, I feel like a very bland and blah existence. And it's like you're ushering in this whole new, you know, perspective. As I said, you're going to be, you know, more excited, more, uh, more spontaneous in your day to day. Let's see what's underneath that. I'm curious. And so we have the healing card again and perseverance. Yeah. So, yeah, I do feel like you, you've trusted the process um, regardless of what has transpired in your past through the act of forgiveness. Because as I always say, forgiveness is for you. It isn't for the other person. It's so that you can let go of, you know, that animosity, the resentment, the pain, the trauma. Um, and you allow the healing to take place. And when you allow that healing to take place, my throat chakra is getting blocked again. So I do feel like, you know, again, I'm hearing suffering in silence, suffering in silence. So a lot of you did this work very privately. I feel hermit mode status. A lot of y'all went into like your little cocoon and you did a lot of healing. You did it privately, you did it quietly. And I feel like now you're emerging um, with more, you know, wise don't, with more wisdom with more clarity, with more perspective, a different perspective, looking at things from a different vantage point, not seeing yourselves as victims, but as victors. Um, and that's why you're having this, this positive change and it's through your compassion. And with this nine, nine, I feel like things are going to positively uh, start taking place in your life. 
And as Faith Evans is singing, heaven only knows what's to come. And I feel like, you know, in divine timing, you will find out what's, uh, you know, what's being planned. I feel like the divine is conspiring some really amazing things. And on the bottom of this deck, we see infinite supply. So I do feel like you're going to be rewarded. There's going to be a supply for you. Uh, remember destiny. So this is your destiny uh, to live in abundance, to have opulence, to live uh, with a sense of su success, um, stability, uh, not having to worry about you know, your financial circumstances, because I feel like you're going to be supplied for not only today, but all of your tomorrows, according to Sedna. So this is a very beautiful confirmation, affirmation. And I feel like it's because you all did this work, you know, when you reach a level of, you know, um, you know, where you can forgive your enemies or forgive those who have tried to hurt you to destroy you. Um, that shows a sense of, um, you know, that, that shows strength, you know, that shows vigor that shows vitality, um, that shows that you have uh, integrity, you know, um, and I feel like this wasn't an easy feat uh, at all, you know, I feel like this, this, this was something you had gnawed and clawed and scratched and fought to get to this place, and now you're having this new beginning, and it's almost as if a new you is emerging, and so you're being rewarded and recognized. Um, and there's like this whale's tail. So it's like, it, it, it's like it, um, you know, whales, they'll hop, you know, jump out of the water and they'll dive. And, um, how do you say that? It's like they, they, they um, dive into the water and you're catching the tail end of it. So it's like you're just at the tail end of this, this cycle, you know. And, um, you know, it, it's coming right in time because we're ushering in a new year, a new six universal years I was speaking on in the beginning. And it was very interesting to see the 666 come out straight out the gate. And that 666 um, reduces to 18. Uh, so 18 definitely uh, reduces to nine, which is about, you know, uh, uh, change, positive changes, um, things that are being worked on behind the scenes that are, uh, you know, in the incubation um, process uh, is absolutely about to, you know, start changing for the better. So we do see that because the nine big new beginnings is here. So right now we have um, art of noise moments in love. And so we have home and then we have inf infinite supply. So this home Vesta, it says your household situation is improving either uh, through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. So I feel like a lot of you all, um, this home doesn't just represent, you know, your physical home that you reside in, that you live in, but I also feel it's your avatar, what you live in, your vessel. Um, and so I do feel like there's been some changes within yourself in terms of healing. Um, we saw the healing card. So you've taken a lot of time to to heal at a soul level. I feel like the majority of my Scorpios have really gone into that hermit mode and really did those internal self audits, really took the time to do some introspective work, to reflect on the past in awareness so as to move forward positively, not bringing in any baggage in your new cycle. Um, and so I feel like, you know, that strength, see that strong, be strong. This is what it required. It required a lot of strength, courage, and wisdom for you to complete that cycle because I do feel like when you have um, karmic lessons to learn, uh, these are lessons that are a part of your destiny. So this means that these are things that are preordained. These are contracts, soul contracts that you have signed. Um, a lot of these could be like uh, ancestral um generational curses um you know not ancestral but generational curses they could be yokes that are on the family uh bloodline and these are things that you have completed um and you've persevered through those uh trials and um errors you know you've persevered through a lot of those difficulties and you're coming out on the other side and it's just beautiful uh these moments in love these are people from your past where there was a lot of love shared and exchanged between you and these individuals but i also feel there was a lot of pain um there was a lot of disappointment betrayal um cheating lying gossiping um there was a lot of people that you learned you could not trust and you had to stand in your strength lean on your strength you had to brave your light in those moments of darkness. And I feel like you learned that you are absolutely stronger um, than you ever knew. 
you know, because you had nothing but your strength to lean on. And I feel like, oh, wow. So we got some messages that flipped over and we're going to take those messages. Bottom of the deck, it says focused intention. So I do feel like a lot of you didn't waver uh, when it came to what you wanted. Um, I feel like you focused your attention on a particular goal, whether that was, you know, something within your career um, or something within a project that you were working on, whether that was a business or some sort of skill set, talent, um, you know, maybe a gift that you were blissed with, you started to hone that. And that's what, you know, really took your mind off of the problems because we all know where your attention goes, energy flows. And for a lot of you all, Scorpios have a very um, addictive personality, obsessive personality. That's why if a lot of Scorpios, if you uh, turn to self-medicating with drinking or drugs or sex, you could find yourselves in a whirlwind of problems. So I feel like instead of you all turning to uh, drugs and alcohol, you turn to your gifts, you started to hone your skills and your talents. And, um, and so we have infinite possibilities here uh, playing by Amel LaRoe. And so you started to focus on you know some of those talents. And I feel like uh, with infinite possibilities, you remained hopeful. You remained very optimistic about your future, about what you could obtain, about your goals, about your achievements. And that's what you started to focus your intentions on. And I feel like a lot of you started to really accomplish those things. Um, and this is what... Uh, you know, is leading to you having some positive changes. So um, just underneath that is sacred space. Many of you started to build and develop very strong connections with your spirit team, your ancestors, with the ascended masters, your angels, your deities, the gods and goddesses, um, your spiritual parents. I feel like, you know, a lot of you also built um, your spiritual strength during those times of disappointment, during those times of loss, during those times of, you know, suffering in silence. I feel like you really started to, you know, communicate with your ancestors. Uh, maybe you started to, um, you know, build altars within your homes and you started to meditate in front of them and just build your connection, um, communicate with them more, meditating in front of the altars, pouring libation, giving them offerings, um, and just doing certain rituals to honor them and call upon them to summon their energy. And I feel like this focus, uh, this, this, this focus definitely led to some level of success and it built your spiritual strength. As I said, so you all became master manifestors. I feel like when you set your intention, you notice that you start to manifest at a very, um, rapid pace. So you, you, you realize that you were master manifestors, that you were alchemists, that you were magis. Um, and you started to really utilize those gifts and talents uh, very strategically to implement change in your life. So next we have blossoming. So something is blossoming, as I said, it's in the incubation state. And I do feel like this is what you have been working on, as we all heard in the beginning, destiny. And now we have infinite possibilities. So I feel like through you remaining um, very focused on your craft, um, it's like you are definitely working on something and it's blossoming. It's definitely the seeds you've, you've planted will harvest. So this is like, you know, things are improving, whether you can see it or not. Um, as I said, the divine, your angels, ancestors are absolutely conspiring behind the scenes. And with a mellow row here, I feel like this is something rooted in, um, you know, a wish fulfillment. Uh, because I feel like, you know, with you being patient um, and showing forgiveness to those who may have hurt you, this is why things will take off. This is why you will have that wish fulfillment because this is, like I said, the reward for all of the hard work, all of the effort that you have really put into um, whatever this gift, this craft, this skill that you've been honing and mastering and sharpening. I feel like it's going to really blossom beautifully and it's going to bliss you with a lot of abundance and opulence as we saw um, with that card infinite supply and this is called infinite possibility so you will be supplied as uh, said and I was saying for today and all of your tomorrows so next we have Damara and it says guiding children and so you are absolutely many of you all were healing um, past child uh, hood issues you know your childhood uh, could have been a very traumatic one Maybe some of you all during your developmental years, maybe you've developed some sort of faulty belief systems or ideologies, 
And, um, you know, maybe you've experienced a lot of trauma through abandonment, through abuse, physical, mental, emotional, sexual. And so a lot of you are healing that. That could have been a part of, like I said, that yoke, um, that generational curse that was on your family bloodline. And I feel like with this guiding children, you had to heal that child within you. I feel many of you have children and you're also helping them heal through some sort of um, karmic relationships that you all went through. And so you may have been in abusive relationships, whether that was physical, mental, emotional, or um, sexual. Um, I feel like there's the sense that you are our healers, your practitioners, you are, um, you know, healers, shamans, light workers. There's a sense that you are guiding children out of a very traumatizing um, time in their lives. Uh, many of you could be social workers. Uh, you may have, um, you know, be uh, counselors, guidance counselors at school. Uh, maybe you are teachers. Um, but I do feel like you may work with children in some way. Uh, or this could just be you really just, like I said, healing that child within, that inner child. Um, and releasing, you know, them from whatever uh, trauma, whatever pain that they've experienced. Um, and they are you. You know, so you're, that's why you're being blissed and acknowledged. So right now we have Lovely Day playing by Bill Weathers. And so I feel things are going to improve. There's like this new beginning as we see here. That's what we're about to, to clarify and we have Be Strong. So I feel like your strength, um, leaning on your strength is why you're having this brand new beginning, is why you're going to have a lovely day, according to Bill Weathers, is why things are going to improve. Um, new beginnings always uh, represent happiness and joy. Um, you're going to be elated. I feel like there's a sense of, you know, you being rewarded because of the strength, because of your resilience, because of you persevering through some really dark times and, you know, successfully uh, completing this karmic cycle in your lives. Um, and I feel like you've learned so much about yourself in the process, in the interim of, you know, going through these experiences with people you loved, um, only to learn that, you know, the love wasn't reciprocated. But I feel like with a lovely day, this is really promising, um, you know, that you have something to look forward to. There's, you know, this beautiful, passionate new start. And it's all because of the hard work and effort. And um, I feel like you're going to develop uh, really healthy connections moving forward because you learn so much about who you are um, and what works for you. So you've learned your love language. Uh, you've learned to always uh, stand direct and perpendicular in your square, to always speak your truth and not suffer in silence or, or um, quiet yourself or dumb yourself down or to allow others to dim your light. I feel like you're now going to speak up, speak out, stand tall, uh, be erect, you know, stand erect. And you're going to use your throat chakra uh, because I feel like, you know, a lot of you definitely um, may not have... Uh, done so in the past. So I feel like now you you are recognizing how strong you are because you are um, You know, you've come out of that cycle that may have felt like death um, You know fully transformed a whole new person see this a lot of you were in codependent relationships And that's what had to change um, This is the change is falling right under number five change. So I feel like now that's why you're feeling so strong um, and so powerful because your independence is a foundation for your strength. So when you are living in a relationship, I mean, with living in a, um, uh, or living codependently in a partnership where you are, uh, in the shadows where you cannot be your own, you know, be yourself, uh, where someone is kind of like overpowering you, um, then you're not able to really be your, your true self. You're not being you unapologetically. So I feel like a lot of you had to learn to stand independent alone, uh, because you were very codependent on others. Maybe that was a part of the karmic lesson. Uh, maybe some of you all suffered abandonment. And so every relationship you've had thus far or uh, after the, you know, that childhood experience of being abandoned by a parent, a grandparent, a father, a mother, cousin, sibling, maybe some of y'all were lost, um, you know, early at an age and that was traumatizing, um, you know, but whatever it, it was that made you feel this sense of abandonment. It's like maybe, you know, in your relationships, your love ships, in your friendships, um, you would just cling on 
And so you had to learn to change that perspective and to heal, you know, that pain from feeling abandoned, from feeling left out in the cold, for feeling unsafe. And so now that you went back to the root cause and you healed um, all of those, those past wounds, now you can lean in your strength. So your independence has absolutely become the foundation that you can now stand on. And so there will be a successful forward movement. There will be a successful, you know, powerful movement forward for you all. And so right now we have earth, wind, and fire. Um, and this is sun goddess. So you all are definitely very clear now as to why some of you all were responding a certain way or acting a certain way in your relationships and your connections. Um, you're taking onus. You're being more compassionate towards yourselves, not judging your past, not judging the way that you responded or um, reacted uh, in your relationships because you were products of your environment. So these are things that you learned through your very impressionable developmental years. And now you can break those um, yokes. Now you have the opportunity to look at things from a different vantage point, a different perspective. As I said, you're now in spiritual alignment. You're no longer judging yourselves. And more importantly, you're not judging those um, who may have mishandled you because you've now learned we're all products of our environment. So whoever you was dealing with, Maybe you're looking at their um, dynamics within their own family, within, with their own mothers, fathers, with their own siblings, and you're understanding more um, absolutely that we all are products of our environment and that we all have trauma and we all have circumstances that we have to heal from and grow from. And so you're showing more compassion. Um, with true love, I feel like there is a very beautiful connection that is... Um, developing for you. I feel like you are learning that, um, you know, the things that you had to heal within yourself is, you know, now bringing and ushering in uh, real love because you've learned your love language. So as you learn your love language, you learn what you like, you learn what you don't like. Um, and I feel like you're now uh, attracting things to you because you're in this divine feminine energy. Uh, Genevieve, true love, this card says, the romantic stirrings in your heart has propelled the universe to deliver uh, great love to you. So I feel like that compassion that you have shown to yourself and to others and the forgiveness that you have given those who even uh, preyed on your downfall, who have really hurt you, abandoned you, betrayed you, deceived you, is why the divine is repaying you with true love. Um, as I said earlier, I felt like true love was your destiny to come into a, a very beautiful union and connection, especially when that love card showed up in the beginning. So you definitely have someone new coming in that's going to give you a lot of love. And so next we have transformation. So this is exactly what you all have experienced. Um, you've gone through major, major um, change. Um, and these changes are absolutely, um, you know, why you have emerged, um, you know, someone brand new. Uh, it's almost like you're unrecognizable. I just feel like, you know, Scorpios, this transformation has really um, made you more attractive in the eyes of those who, you know, may have been the ones who tried to hurt you or even potential new loves. It's like you're just very radiant right now. Um, you're shining. Um, as I said, there's this, this, there's someone who is going to have a lot of affinity and love because the song Sun Goddess is playing. So they do see you as that divine feminine, uh, very strong, very beautiful, uh, very independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant. Um, they see you as a very beautiful lover, nurturer, uh, very caring, very empathic, very compassionate. Uh, person and I feel like you've transformed into this divine feminine um, and you're almost like an earth angel and so what was I saying about you all taking leaps of faith and so I do feel like you will do that I feel someone will um, come into your life and the divine is encouraging you to take a leap of faith to take those risks and to just follow your heart's truest desires do not allow your fears to interfere um, with your happiness with you know, what could potentially be, um, you know, a beautiful love story here. Because I do see, like, your love, your love circumstances transforming. And I feel like it's because of the changes that you've made within yourself is why you are now attracting 
Um, just like I said, self-love makes you more attractive. And so this compassion, see that? And so compassion came out twice. Kuan Yin is reminding you to release judgment about yourself and others. And so, you know, just focus on love. Focus on the light. Focus on the healing. Focus on doing what's righteous and just. And that's how you will start drawing and attracting everything that's meant for you. There's nothing that anyone um, can do to interfere with what the divine has um, for you. I just strongly feel like, as the song was saying in the beginning, this is a part of your destiny. So, you know, you absolutely have some beautiful things that are going to be taking place. Um, right now, it is 35 minutes on the clock. And it was 3526 when I said that. So that's 88. Um, so that's 167. So trust your intuition. I feel like you all are feeling that and sensing that. You know that. Look at that. I didn't even see this. I said trust your intuition. And intuition is on the bottom of the deck. So this is powerful. So trust your intuition. Whatever it is you're feeling, whatever it is you're sensing, whatever inner gumption, whatever sensations, whatever tinkling, you know, tickling feelings. If you're getting messages, um, telepathically, intuitively, via your dreams, whether you're seeing synchronistic acts, whether you're having visits from spirit animals, spirit totems, um, you know, whatever it is, you know, whether fly, you know, feathers are flying towards you, um, whatever it is, trust that, because I do feel like those are the divine letting you know that something beautiful is happening. And so we have prosperity begins and intuition. So you can feel that your circumstance financially is about to change for the better. I feel like, as I said, you know, with that blossoming, this is about all the hard work, um, you know, that you've put in, those seeds you've planted. They're blossoming so much so that, you know, there's fruit falling from the sky. So these are coming from the divine. This is rewards. And um, these are rewards because the divine recognizes how hard you've been working with the sun goddess. I definitely feel like you all have come in to your true power. It's like, as I said in the beginning of the reading, you, this is your birthright to live in abundance and opulence. You are uh, royal and regal, um, masculine or fat, feminine. Um, and the sun goddess, I feel like, you know, that is your energy as well, fellas. Like, you are in this energy of just embracing yourselves. You could feel very balanced right now where you're embracing, you know, that feminine energy even though you're masculine and ladies, you could be embracing that masculine energy because the sun is a masculine energy. Um, you know, so that is, you know, again, like I said, you know, uh, you all are just could be recognizing, you know, the goddess in uh, someone that you are attracted to. You know, maybe you've you know had some aha moment about a particular love uh, that that person is, you know, the one, you know, so there's some some sort of confirmation about that and so with this is it this is by um this is called Luc um lucini this is it and this is by camp low so i feel like when you come into this union this divine connection this spiritual union i got the hiccups this is going to be it for you like this is the person that you will grow old with this is the person that will be your person look at this now material harvest is on the bottom of the deck so you absolutely have a lot of recognition um, from the divine. The divine is about to bless you. And this is going to be it for you. You're going to have financial freedom, success. You're going to be able to live a very fruitful life, very opulent life. Um, and I feel like this is because of the work, the effort. And so here we have rest and rejuvenation. And wasn't I picking up earlier on you all being in that hermit mode? So I feel like this is it for the hermit mode. You're about to start taking action. You're about to embark on a brand new beginning. So all of the resting, the rejuvenating, the recuperating, the recovering, the healing, um, the connecting with your higher self, that brought you to a place of knowingness. You know, this brought you to a place of being in a very, um, a very uh, self-aware place because that number four represents the heart chakra. So I do feel like, you know, you, you trusted your heart, um, you showed compassion, you listened and the divine said to be forgiving, you know, even though someone hurt you, um, even though someone may have betrayed you, you know, uh, betrayed you, um, you know, deceived you in any way, maybe someone was uh, definitely, um, you know, doing things to, um, you know, doing things backhandedly, I feel like you you really took to 
um, you know, discover, you know, uh, why, why were you so accepting of this behavior? I feel like you just really grounded yourselves and this allowed for things to come to light. You know, this allowed for you to really discover that, you know, maybe these were some, some childhood issues that you really need to address and heal. Um, and in doing so, you learned that forgiveness was uh, what was best for you in the circumstance. And so you started to plant new seeds. Um, you started to plant new, you know, you started to plant new seeds, which enabled, you know, you to really, you know, heal that past circumstance, you know, without any regrets, you know, and you found, like I said, that that sense of strength, you know, you got your strength back. But I do feel because this is blue, you also, you know, was co-creating with source. Maybe you were receiving a lot of downloads to transmute the pain from that circumstance and, you know, start being more creative, start tapping into your artistic gifts. I feel a lot of you definitely received some downloads uh, because this person is wearing like a cloak. I do feel like, you know, this is very hermit mode energy, um, you know, going within internal and, you know, doing those internal self audits, as I said, and because you've searched your soul, um, because you were searching, you know, you know, soul searching, um, excuse me, I feel like, you know, the best place um, for you to function from was a place of forgiveness and not to hold that animosity and resentment because, you know, you knew that that stress and that anger and that frustration would only affect you. So now there's rewards, like I said. Uh, rewards for completing that karmic lesson, rewards for healing, you know, those childhood traumas, those childhood um, pains and, and, and uh, abandonment issues, you know, the abuse you've experienced. There's material and spiritual prosperity. So as I said, you built your spiritual strength in this process through forgiveness, through showing compassion, uh, through healing that childhood uh, of that child that was in within um, and we have strength courage and wisdom by India Irie so yes it required a lot of strength a lot of courage and wisdom and because of you exhibiting such strength courage and wisdom the divine is giving you this blessing this is the number six so in the sixth universal year you will be blessed you know with the material and spiritual harvest so there will be no, you know, there will be no need or no, you'll want for nothing is what I'm trying to say. And it's because you did your work. So divine spirit of love and light, wise karmic completion, guiding children here for our beloved Scorpios, divine spirit, thank you. So there's some positive changings. There's a lot of positive changes here. Um, I feel like these material and um, it says financial and material changes. So yeah, there, there was someone that was affecting your finances. Uh, this was someone who was a taker. Uh, this was someone who definitely had, um, you know, this lack mentality, scarcity mentality. And I feel like for many of you, you also, because this is about, you know, dealing with the root cause of the issues. Maybe uh, during your childhood, you learned you didn't really have um, uh, parents who really had, um, they weren't financially uh, savvy. They didn't know how to manage money. Um, so maybe you live check to check. Um, and now you've learned to be more frugal. Um, you know, you've learned to be, um, a little more wise when it came to, you know, your expenditures. Um, but this heartache and loss definitely was suffering in silence. This is like the three of swords. So there was a lot of pain and agony that you experienced, um, in your childhood. And I feel like a lot of you had to heal from that. Not only was it in regards to, you know, um, love, uh, family, loss um but i feel like financially you took a hit i feel like financially things were really scarce uh and it's because you may have entrusted someone who mismanaged money um someone who, like i said who was a taker uh but not really you know a contributor and so through strength courage and wisdom you had to learn to be more independent and not codependent because this person was definitely affecting you financially uh with this conflict and defeat you was definitely up in your head. You got two fives here. And so, you know, by you, um, see that? So when I, when this card kind of flipped over and then it wanted to show hope. So I feel like, you know, even though you, you struggled through this, 
I feel like, you know, you, you persevered ultimately. Um, this conflict and defeat was, you know, what you was healing from. This heartache and loss, this pain, this agony. These are all root causes. And that's some of the, the yokes, some of the generational curses that you all had to um, heal from. But there was this, this light, you know, this light here is shining. So it's almost like this light captured your attention and this gave you some sense of clarity about your circumstance, what needed to change, about you needing to open up your throat chakra. Um, because it's like you're running away from the sun. So it's like you was in a very dark place, um, feeling very defeated. And um, But I feel like this, this light, this little flame right here, it, it gave you a glimmer of hope. you know, And it also encouraged you to lean on your strength, to be more courageous to be more hopeful. And so we have here this card of hope. So that's beautiful. So why is new beginning strong here, segment strong? So I'm gonna take those. That's a lot of cards, but I'm taking them. And look at this, six and harmony. So you will definitely have a lot of balance this year. And you know, with strength, courage, and wisdom by India Irie chiming in the background, I feel like it's because of your strength, your courage, and your wisdom, which is why you're coming into all of this blessing. Um, this is a very loving uh, energy. This is someone you will have synergy, a very beautiful chemistry, connection. Um, this is love that is unspoken. So this could be past life love. But this is definitely giving me, um, you know, the lover's energy or the six of cups, someone from your past. I feel like there could be potential marriage um, in your future. Uh, you and this person, like I said, will just, it will be it. This will be your person. Remember, you also had true love. So your true love will come in and this person will bring a sense of harmony um, and a sense of balance. You know, this is someone that you can build with, grow old with, um, or just grow better, grow finer with, have a business together. Um, with most stuff, there is a way plain. So I feel like, you know, you all knew that there was a way that the two of you will come back into union, even if this is someone you know. Um, you knew there was a way where there was a will, there was a way. And I feel like you, 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 you trusted, you know, you trusted in this process of healing yourself, but I feel like you had to gain your power, uh, back from heartache and loss. You know, this is emotional loss. And I was saying someone was suffering in silence and he's applying his own hands, um, on his heart chakra. So this is the healing card that showed up. So this is what you had to do. You had to apply the healing. You had to heal first. You know, every great healer has to heal themselves. And I do feel like my Scorpios that be tuning and tapping in are healers. But now you're in harmony. You know, when you heal yourself, then, you know, you now become a great healer. So now you have this sense of love. And these two are creating, you know, this beautiful color of green, which is the heart chakra. So the two of you together, the chemistry, the synergy, um, you know that there is a way, you know, there is a way that you will have this harmony. Um, and I feel like it's because you've been sending those messages telepathically to one another. You know, there's like this, this strong telepathic intuitive connection bond. Maybe the two of you communicate via the dream world because this is the number six. So that's like that, um, you know, third eye or first eye, as I say, chakra. So that represents, you know, a very strong ability to communicate. So look what came back out. You got, um, you have material and spiritual prosperity, and this is uh, falling right underneath new beginnings and strength. So this is why, you know, you knew that there was a way to get through, you know, whatever that past situation was. Like I said, you persevered through it. You kept your eyes on the prize and you didn't get distracted uh, by that circumstance. Yes, there was a lot of pain. Yes, you may have struggled financially. You know, you may have felt like, you know, um, you was alone a lot. Uh, but I feel like because you knew uh, that there was a way and because you leaned on your strength, because you communicated with your angels and ancestors and your spiritual parents, they made a way for you. And this new way is a beginning, a new beginning. And this new beginning, you are not only spiritually strong, but you're also financially blissed. There's opulence all around you. And as I said before, it's because you got out of a codependent situation and learn to stand on your own legs and not be 
you know, needy, you know? And so look at this. What did I say about wish fulfillment? So this fulfillment of wishes is here. So there's a beautiful blessing that's coming in for you, Scorpios. And it's because you made positive changes in your lives and you learned to stand on your own two legs. You tried your own legs out and wasn't so codependent and, and reliant on another person that was just abusing their power and taking you for granted and taking you ultimately um, you know, abusing your kindness, you know, so now there's like not only wish fulfillment, but I feel like there's, you know, blessings from the divine, like rewards, financial blessings, but there's also love. I feel like with these waters, there's going to be like deep love, passion, joy, and happiness. And I feel you've been very patient. And that's why, you know, most Steph was saying there is a way because you knew regardless of how things appeared, you knew that there was a way you remained hopeful, optimistic, regardless of how things appeared. You trusted in divine timing. And so this is falling under compassion and true love. So patience. So you showed a lot of compassion by not judging the situation, judging yourself. You trusted the process and relinquished the control that you initially were trying to have. And when you did that, this is when the divine started to implement the change and conspire behind the scenes to bring forth this true love, this person that is destined for you, as Mary J. Blige was saying. This is 14, and that's number five. So I do feel like someone will eventually communicate, because uh, I was getting a lot of um, blockages in my throat chakra throughout this reading, and I do see, you know, change has, um, you know, maybe somebody's changing uh, their approach, learning how to change and be more um, assertive. Uh, right now we have um, Climb the Mountain, and this is by Kenny Lattimore. So yeah, somebody is going through um, a lot of their own hurdles. You know, they're completing a cycle as well as what I'm hearing in my mind's eye, and that's why the divine was telling you to be patient, because it's like, you know, you want someone that's going to, you know, meet your standards, so to speak. So it's like you don't want to settle. And you've been sending these messages to the divine, um, you know, sending these messages, these these were these requests, these wish fulfillments, um, you know, out into the ethers. And so all of those messages you've been sending as Genevieve True Love card, it says the romantic stirrings in your heart has propelled the universe to deliver great love. So it's like the divine is like, look, I'm, I'm preparing what you've asked for and, and good things take time to create. And so while you, uh, relinquish the control, as I was saying, and started to trust the process, that's what is now, you know, propelling, um, the universe to bring this into you because now you're distracted with something else. So it's like you had to change your own energy because when you are so focused and so obsessive over a situation, it can cause delays and the divine is trying to bring you, you know, exactly what it is that you've asked for. What did I look at this throat chakra? I didn't even see this because I've been building on these cards, throat chakra. So someone is having to change the way that they communicate. You know, they're, they're going to emerge more assertive. You know, somebody has gone through something and what they've gone through is a major change. And this change is, you know, requiring them to express themselves more. This climb the mountain just like somebody's gone through like the peaks and the valleys. It's like they was really burdened by some really difficult situations. And I feel like, you know, this person was, was like felt, um, hushed, quiet, you know, shush, shushed, you know, like, how do you say that? It's like, this person didn't feel like they could really express themselves. It was like, you know, mum's the word almost. It's like, you know, they just quiet, you know, they were very quiet in this relationship that they were, um, involved in, they really didn't express or emote, um, their own feelings, their own, um, you know, um, expression. They didn't express themselves, you know, what they were feeling. And I feel like that's something that's changing. This is what this person is changing. There's like a death in, you know, not communicating and now they will communicate. So there will be some sort of transformation in regards to someone um, you know, expressing something that they deeply feel, but may not have, um, shared with you. And I feel like, you know, with this climb the mountain, this has been a very difficult, 
um, change for this person. I feel like, you know, this person, as I said, maybe, you know, they also have been, you know, healing some sort of child childhood traumas or pain. Maybe they felt like they couldn't really um, express themselves as children. Maybe as children, you know, they felt like, you know, their parents wouldn't listen to them. And so when they got into relationships, you know, they felt like, you know, they, they should just be quiet, go along to kind of get along sort of deal. And so now this person is changing from that. There's like this shift in their own consciousness, you know, to, to start emoting, to start expressing themselves. Uh, but I do feel like there's going to be a positive um, change in communicating. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. So we have leap of faith. And right now we have, look at this, prosperity begins. So you see that energy? This is why you, you when you take risks, you know, when you take risks, when you are, you know, very focused on what it is you want and you're not allowing fear to paralyze you, this is what you're jumping towards. And I should put it like this because this is actually how the card goes, right? This is what you need to do because there's something that's going to start blossoming for you. You have a lot of cards here about prosperity, abundance, you know, and, um, wish fulfillment you know we opened up the reading with infinite supply by Sedna so this is like you know it's definitely your destiny you are destined to live in opulence as I said this is your birthright Scorpios um, and I'm not surprised because you all have been doing this work you've been grinding really hard um, and I feel like you've been like toiling you know this has been very laborious for you but I feel like the divine has acknowledged that, which is why you're being rewarded. You know, when I look at this, I see this treasure chest and it's like there's this beautiful glow. So this is like everything you can imagine um, that could possibly be in there. Jewels, gems, um, gold, you know, um, money, you know. And um, we got Patience playing by Nas um, and Damian Marley. And so the divine has recognized your patience, recognized the fact that you relinquished control and trusted the process. And now things are starting to happen in divine timing. As I said, this six universal year for Scorpios is going to be very abundant. It's going to be very um, expansive for you in every areas of your life, in every area of your life, whether um, in terms of your love, emotional fulfillment, in terms of financial, there's a lot of uh, spiritual growth here as well for you all and wasn't I picking up on the word suffering silence and this card came out and so look at that your patience your ability to forgive your ability to be compassionate towards those who have hurt you your ability to see you know the 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 fine um to to um see the bigger picture uh is why you're now you know receiving this these rewards uh, because you were very patient, because you relinquished that control, just as I was saying. And, you know, the whole time you were suffering in silence. But you you see how she's climbed the top of this mountain. And remember, we had climbed the mountain plain by Kenny Lattimore. So you've reached the top of the mountain, which is the peak. So it's like you've gone through those peaks and valleys, but you're now here at the top. So this is like you are, you know, finally um, releasing, you know, whatever the pain, whatever the trauma was because now you see the light there's this this change this transformation this clarity this illumination to your circumstance and if you look closely there's a lot of fog so it's like the the, the clouds have dissipated and now there's this sense of clarity this aha moment this epiphany and i feel like you're going to venture into this new world into this new chapter um with a lot of passion uh with a lot of fire um with a lot of vigor uh, because you've been very strong um, in implementing this change. This has not been an uh, easy process, uh, but I feel like, you know, as I said, you leaned on nothing but your strength. And although you were suffering in silence, uh, you definitely was doing those internal self audits um, and you was healing, you know, more importantly, you know, this number nine represents the highest number of change. So now there's a lot of positive changes taking place. And I feel like you're going to walk away um, and you're going to speak your truth now. You're going to stand, as I always say, perpendicular in your square. And you're going to start expressing yourself because this blue also deals with the throat chakra. So you will express your truth. 
You will stand erect. You will exhibit strength, courage, wisdom, dignity, self-respect, and more importantly, self-love. Um, and you're no longer judging yourself because you see the bigger picture, as I said. It's like things are very clear to you now. And you learn, um, you know, ultimately that, you know, whatever you experienced in the past, it was definitely a part of your destiny as, um, as Mary J. Blige was saying in the beginning. See that? So we have firm foundation. So you are establishing something very solid. Um, you are more stable and there are mountains on both of these cards. So this is just proving, you know, how difficult this journey has been. Um, but you've been patient with yourself. You didn't judge yourself. You trusted in the process. You communicated with your angels, your guides, your spirit team. And I feel like they gave you the strength. They gave you those nudges, those downloads. Um, and this firm foundation is also the color of the root chakra. So more importantly, you healed a lot of your childhood issues. The root chakra deals with your family, your stability, your security. So, you know, even feeling unsafe, un, you know, insecure in your family dynamics, I feel like you healed that, those issues, those traumas, um, those childhood uh, traumas that you endured um, early on in, in your lives. And that's why now there's the sense of um, feeling very stable, you know, very solid. And so now look what you have. You have this foundations and achievements. So you will have a very beautiful uh, connection. These two cards uh, show me that first and foremost, you have to be solid within yourself, very self-sufficient, independent within yourself because this root chakra always also deals with your career, your finances, your, um, you know, your, your um, ability to uh, be stable, to be self-sufficient, you know, financially to be, you know, your security, your insurance. Um, and so I feel like this is what you had to obtain on your own. And by you obtaining that on your own, you now are coming into a union. This four represents like that 1111. So you're coming into a very stable, very solid love ship, love partnership. And because of your patience, it's going to be even that much, um, you know, even that, it's going to be that, um, how do you say it? It's going to be even more rewarding. It's going to be even more re rewarding for you. And I feel intuitively you all know this. It's because you've been manifesting this. Like we all saw, we had the um, focused intention. And I want to show you that. And we have uh, Jill Scott, and this is called Free. So now you have freed yourselves from any faulty belief systems, from any childhood traumas, any um, ideologies, bad behaviors, any bad um, anything that you may have picked up during those very impressionable de developmental years, you're free now. You freed yourself from even mind fuckery, from any type of toxic um, perspectives. You're free, but you've manifested this this uh, 1111 union. You know, the like Genevieve said, true love, the stirrings in your heart, the wish fulfillment. You know, you had that fulfillment of wishes, and I feel like it's because you've manifested this with this focused intention here. Um, so now you have this very solid, very stable, very beautiful connection. And this is like a twin flame, a soulmate. You're going to live this very beautiful, happy, um, you know, happily ever after with someone that will be, um, you know, your divine counterpart. And I feel like there's this happy house, happy spouse. You can see the rainbow just over this. So this definitely represents joy and happiness, positive changes, stability, success, you know, emotional investment, emotional fulfillment, um, even financial blessings, because this is a home. So I feel like you're going to make this home, a, you know, this happy house. A, a, um, this house is going to be a very happy house. You know, it's going to be a happy house, happy spouse, you know, and I feel like a good divine feminine, divine masculine uh, turns a home into a house. You know, like it's, it's a very beautiful connection. And so we have um, Mary, Mary, God in me. And so, yeah, the God in you has manifested this because it required you to know who you were. When you know who you are, then you stand perpendicular in your square and you just manifest and you attract. So the divine feminine, divine masculine, uh, absolutely are master manifestors. And you've manifested all of this. And that's why you're being rewarded because it required patience. It required uh, non-judgment. It just required you to heal those, you know, those inner demons, you know, you had to 
you know, do that shadow work. And so look at this blessing, material harvest. So that, that material harvest again came out. Prosperity begins, fulfillment of wishes, material and spiritual prosperity. I can't make this shit up. You all are going to be blissed beyond your knowing. And with this nine here, positive changes. These are the blessings. These are the things you've worked on. This is what you've worked on and now you're being blissed. And with the God in you, your higher self is letting you know that you deserve all of this. You know, this is the work, you know, even whatever it is that you're doing um, in terms of business, in terms of your career, there could be some sort of uh, promotion, pay increase, some sort of um, bonus pay incentive. If you've started a business, I feel like there's going to be a lot of growth. You're going to see your business is going to really take off. And I feel like the God in you is giving you some really dope downloads and um, really great ideas. Uh, and and you're just you're just in this uh, position of receiving. You're very receptive. The divine is blessing you with all of the wish fulfillment. Look at this passion ignited. So something you have really um, you know really been passionate about, whether it's a skill, a gift, you've honed that. You've honed that skill, that gift. You've trusted, you know, your your feeling, that emotion. You know, you trusted whatever it was you was feeling. And you went in that direction. And that's why you're being rewarded with this beautiful material harvest. Because you followed your passion. You know, the divine told you to, you know, to not give your attention to the attention horse, but to give your attention to your passions, to your dreams, you know. And because you did that, and because you answered this inner calling, and trusted that inner gumption, that God in you, you know, that Christ consciousness in you is now leading you to this opulence, to expansion, financial, emotional, and you're going to be very fulfilled. Your heart chakra is healed. So this suffering and silence and this heartache and loss that you was experiencing, it's subsiding. And it's the God in you. The God in you led you to healing this. The God in you led you to um, nurturing yourselves from coming out of that, that dark night of the soul journey, um, feeling better, you know, feeling better about yourselves. So um, let's get additional messages. I'm going to pull some messages from my deck. Look at this karma dharma. So this is, you reap what you sow, sow in good faith. So I do feel like with this blossoming, you definitely um, reaped in good faith, you know, um, you sowed in good faith, rather. Um, the seeds that you planted, um, you did, you, you planted very righteous, you know, you weren't, judgmental you wasn't um evil spirited i feel like you showed forgiveness um because you knew people know not what they do and i feel like because the god in you was speaking through you and to you your higher self was communicating to you you listened to that and you trusted that and that's why look at this i can't make this up i just split the cards and you got financial freedom success here so that's why you're being rewarded this is your karma this is good karma these are things turning out in your favor, Scorpio. And we have Mystic Voyage playing by Roy Ayers. So you've been on this very mysterious journey, very spiritual journey. Um, you may not have known where you would end up, but you always trusted in the process. And the divine realizes that. That done, done, fin, you're done with the old version of yourself. That old version of yourself that may have been a victim. That old version of yourself that allowed yourselves to self-loathe. Um, now you are in your power. You know, the God in you is telling you to manifest what you want, especially when it comes to financial blessings, when it comes to opulence, when it comes to um, material harvest. It's like you've also learned to become more emotional, intelligent. So you've learned to, um, you know, like I said, you've changed your belief system about love, about emotional intelligence, about even what you require. Um, in your relationships, love ships, friendships, even in your, your um, career um, dynamics. It's like you need people that are going to be emotional, intelligent around you uh, if they're going to be a part of your life. If not, they're going to have to kick rocks. But it's like you want and desire these um, very important attributes uh, for people to be emotionally intelligent. Uh, they have to be attentive and affectionate. Um, they have to be honest. They have to be protective and loving. Um, like I said, you broke some sort of generational curse, some yoke. Um, this is about you breaking yourself free from, you know, faulty belief systems, ideologies, um, 
and even, you know, immaturity, people who are not on your frequency and vibration, not on your level is what I'm hearing. So this is a lot of, you know, child's play, especially with guiding children. Maybe you are helping someone who is coming off very childish, someone who could have been younger than you. I feel like exactly with the sacred space, that's exactly what you all did, especially when it comes to your transformation. You started to communicate with your ancestors, your spirit guide, your spirit team. You know, you started to develop a relationship with them, especially in this rest of rejuvenate. You know, this is communicating with your higher self, with your spirit team and um, gaining that that strength with the Trinity card. This represents family. This is man, woman, and um, child. So this is all about, you know, the, the, the Trinity represents life. You know, this round portion represents the womb. These portions here represent the fallopian tubes, which are the children. And this felicious portion here represents the man, the masculine energy. Those three together represents man, woman, child, which is the Trinity. And you will find that um, representation, um, you know, this is called the Ankh. Uh, so that symbol represents life, and that's a comedic symbol. So I do feel like, you know, many of you uh, could have comedic, um, you know, spiritual parents. Uh, they're blessing you. You know, you're going to receive some sort of bump in your pay this year. Um, you're going to change your career, maybe a position. Um, I feel like a lot of you are going to be in leadership roles. So there is um, a lot of expansion for you in this sixth universal year, a lot of financial blessings. So we have she loved me, she loved me not, games, mixed signals. So this is what you all had to forgive. You know, you had to forgive someone who was playing a lot of games. You had to forgive someone who was uh, mistreating you. We saw the child immaturity. So this is someone who was emotionally not on your level. Um, they weren't as emotionally intelligent. And maybe you came into their life to help teach them. Um, how to, you know, be better in that regard because we do have guiding children. So maybe you are helping someone to heal the child within themselves as well because we all hold a mirror up to one another. So there could have been a mirroring effect, especially with this karmic lesson. Someone definitely had a lot of addictions, afflictions uh, with this incubus, succubus. This was an energy vampire. Uh, this was someone who gave a lot of mixed signals, someone who was very... Um, much a gaslighter, someone who would uh, play a lot of games. And I feel like you took some time to heal uh, and it required forgiveness. Um, it required you to forgive that person, maybe even, um, you know, forgiving them and accepting uh, the apology that you never received. And I feel like that's why there's so much blessing coming in for you because you did a lot of work. This is a hard, um, you know, bond to break free from because this incubus succubus energy, they really will, um, it's like parasitic, you know, it's like a leech, someone that, you know, you could have had children with also, um, this person definitely broke your heart, um, and they did affect your finances. Uh, you could have had, um, you know, you, you could have been in a marriage, you could have been in a situation where you resided with them, shared bills, um, you know, and your credit could have been jacked up, uh, messing with them. And I feel like you, uh, realize something had to change, but this incubus succubus energy is definitely showing me that you were in a toxic connection. Um, so we do have, uh, this fell out on the floor. Um, I didn't ask, so I'm gonna put it back, but this is what you was dealing with. You know, incubus succubus energy. That's someone who has addictions, someone who has, um, a very, uh, toxic perspective, a toxic way of looking at life. Um, this is someone who definitely projects a lot, um, but this person was plotting, scheming, scamming. So they was using you for the money. That's why we got plotting, scheming, scamming. So I was feeling like this was a taker, and this is exactly what they was plotting on. You see that hand? So it was like they took a lot from you. And maybe this is your message because the divine is telling me to take this card. So I do feel like this person definitely, um, they affected your finances um, greatly. Like they, they really affected your finances. And I feel like you really love this person. You may have had children by this person as well. And that's why you trusted them so much. But I feel like, you know, with this high alert, they really um, jacked up your credit. But I feel like you've moved on to that. We got a million dollar bill playing by Whitney Houston, Rising Power, Beautiful Queen. Um, so yeah, so this is what you have to look forward to. Some of you all may find yourselves um, feeling like a million bucks because you have some sort of material and spiritual prosperity that's coming in, especially with the million dollar bill. Um, I do feel like some of y'all could even uh, have some sort of um, 
some sort of fortunate experience take place, some sort of wish fulfillment. Maybe you'll win like a lotto ticket, a scratch off ticket. Maybe you'll win publishers clearing house sweepstakes. Maybe you'll win something. Um, but I do feel like with this promotions pay increase, um, lucrative business deals, you may even uh, find yourself making some really um, great strides in your business. Um, but this is a new beginning and your strength is leading to this. So Divine Spirit, why is um, new beginnings be strong material and spiritual prosperity here for our beloved Scorpios? Why is material? Thank you. Oh, God. Okay, all of these cards flipped over. And so we have basic instructions before leaving earth. And it says seeking higher knowledge. So a lot of you all, you sought higher knowledge. You definitely went within, which is why you're now um, trusting in this new venture. You know, you're going forward. You're pushing forward. You also realize you're different, you know. And something that you do differently is definitely going to guarantee some sort of success for you. I feel like you've taken the fact that you're different and you've implemented some things um you know that are going to be received uh very well you know like the, the you know your your you, there's like you're going to be recognized you're going to be acknowledged for something that you do very well um and i feel like that that knowingness is why you're having some sort of success it's like believe you can and you will so you knew that you would have this success this material and uh spiritual prosperity um, and it's because you leaned on your strength. It's because you realized just how strong you were. It's because you realized that your independence was the foundation for your strength. And also, as the Divine Feminine, Mama Oshun, you are naturally attracting beautiful things to you. And that million dollar bill, someone may see you as, um, you know, very attractive. Someone that they may want to assist. So maybe there's someone that may come in. And they may want to invest in your business. They may want to assist you with your business. But I feel like you're attracting a lot of beautiful things to you. And you also have a lot of people that are very um, deceptive. And I feel like as the Divine Feminine, you will know this. Um, I feel like that's why, um, you know, you have some deception around you. Because you're so attractive. Because you are beautiful and you're living your life. We got Yuna. Um, and this is called Live Your Life. And so you're living your life. And this is why there's this, this deception, this, this jealousy, this envy, this angst, this disdain um, that's around you. And it's because you're standing erect. You're in your power. You know you're beautiful. You know you're positively um, making strides. It's because you're changing. And you're also experiencing some sort of wish fulfillment, some blessing, some miracles are taking place in your life. So why is uh, change, independence, okay, this didn't even come out. It says spiritual baths are necessary. And it says sea salt egg cleanse Florida water. So somebody's trying to interrupt, um, you know, some sort of wish fulfillment for you. Um, so I'm going to put it back because it didn't fall out. I just, it just wanted to be expounded. So some of you all may need to take spiritual baths. And with the egg cleanse, basically what that is, is you first clear your um, egg. You know, you could Palo Santo it or uh, sage it. Um, and you set your intent. You get a glass, uh, a clear glass. You get a glass of, uh, and you fill up the glass halfway with water. Um, and then you take that egg and you set your intention. Tell the egg what you want it to do to expel, to repel, to banish all maleficent energies, entities, spell work. To, you know, any evil that may have been sent to you, psychic attacks. And you take the egg and you work from the crown all the way down, even on the bottom of your feet, you know, and you um, just cleanse it. Um, you may need two eggs. I use two eggs. And then what you do is once you feel, you'll f literally feel the egg get heavier. And it's because it's, it's extracting all of that negative energy from your person, from your body, you know, and unblocking your chakras and it's going into the egg, you know, and then what you do is you crack the egg into the, that glass with the water in it and you can examine the egg to see the webs. You'll see, uh, check the yolk to see if you see any spots, um, white, red, or anything that will let you know that you had some sort of yolk. I always do it several times um, until the egg feels lighter. Uh, but you will literally and physically feel the egg heavy. You know, you will feel the egg, the egg, 
become very heavy after you've cleansed yourself. So the egg cleanse is one way that some of you all um, need to do that because I went into this great detail um, for you all. So you may want to try an egg cleanse. And then once you finish examining the egg, um, because if the egg falls to the bottom, then that means that there's definitely a yolk. But if it like floats, I feel that you're in good standing. Um, and the webs definitely uh, would indicate that you have a lot of uh, spiritual um, protection around you. Um, but what you do to discard the egg is you pour it down your toilet bowl. I always follow it with sea salt so as not to let the um, negative energies that we've just extracted from our person jump right back on us. Um, never look over the cup either. You know, don't look directly over the cup. Examine it from the sides, you know, from the sides of the glass. Um, and just pour it in to the toilet bowl. And to clean your cup, pour a little, you know, sea salt in there and rinse it out. Pour it in your sink and rinse it out. And then voila. Um, some of you may need to do a spiritual bath. Uh, you could use dragon's blood, resin. You could use sea salt, um, Florida water. You could use a little bit of... Um, um, I'm trying to think of what else you could add to that. Hyssop. You could use some hyssop. Hyssop is really good as well. And just, you know, and I feel like y'all need to do this before you enter into the new year because it says spiritual baths are necessary, you know. And I don't know where that card went. Where did that card go? Where did the card go? I literally just had the card. But anyway, I went into that whole diatribe because that's what came out. And now I don't even know where the message came from. And so we have, um, I know keeps, um, I, I keep still here by Jill Scott. So, um, I literally lost that, that card, uh, but I went into that diatribe because you all need to, um, implement those changes. There's a reason why that card showed up and now I can't find it. So just be mindful, you know, because when things start coming out, I definitely feel like it's for a reason. And I did put that card. I could have sworn I put that card down. Oh, there it is. So that's what I was expounding on. But yeah, so definitely with I keep still here. So it's almost like, you know, that's that's the resilience, you know, regardless of what was thrown at you, regardless of what spell work, whatever anyone is doing, spiritual attacks. It's like just calling your ancestors and angels to handle that. You don't have to um, jump down off your throne to deal with the peasantry um, because people are very much, you know, jealous and envious. Um, of your strength, you know, of you being independent, of you having positive changes. Um, so next we have selfish loving myself. So that's what it is. You're being independent. You loving you, yourself, and you. And so by you being independent and not in those codependent relationships, I feel like that's why people are feeling very, um, you know, they have this angst, like I said, this disdain. Um, and in you doing you, um, you're also experiencing a lot of wish fulfillment. Um, but I feel like there's a sense of joy and happiness and I feel like you've persevered through a lot because Joe Scott is singing, I keep still here. So regardless of what you endured, regardless of the attack, spiritual, psychic, whatever it was, it's like you kept going forward. You kept moving forward. You kept your eyes on the prize and you did not get distracted because a thing could only, a thing that, you know, whatever you pay your attention to is where your attention goes. So a thing can only distract you if you gave it your attention. And I feel like you refuse to give anyone anything your attention. You focused on your needs, wants, and desires, and you put yourself first. You prioritize your needs. And so we have patience is also a form of action. And it says st stay diligent. And so we also saw that patience was here um, just underneath uh, Genevieve, true love. So you got patience twice and then true love. So that compassion that you showed yourself and others is why you know there's this beautiful blessing coming in for you my beautiful Scorpios um and you have a lot of abundance coming in this year because of the strength you know you're very powerful Scorpios so let's see what else we got coming and going out going on for my beloved Scorpios thank you spirit and so we have secret admirer and it says um loves what they see so yeah you're attracting someone that definitely um like I said, they feel this synergy, this connectivity, especially with this energy. This is someone that you will have a very harmonious connection, a very beautiful spiritual union. And the two of you are very loving towards one another. 
I feel like you'll both feel that love. You'll both feel that connection. Um, while on the other end of the spectrum, you have someone who is very immature, um, someone very young-minded, very, um, you know, out of balance, out of equilibrium. And this is someone definitely not on your level. They're not divine fe masculine or divine feminine energy. Um, and I do feel like, you know, maybe someone, you know, from your past did not know how to emote or express themselves because we're about to um, clarify transformation and throat chakra. So this is definitely someone who struggled with expression, struggled with, you know, speaking their truth, expressing their truth. Um, you know, and so now they're, you know, trying to perhaps change that with transformation. Um, we have cherished the day. So maybe someone is holding on to some fond memories. Um, so divine spirit of love and light. Let me see, you know, maybe this is someone, you know, nostalgic, you know, maybe a past love that's like kind of reminiscing on some better times. So divine spirit of love and light. Why is butterflies throat chakra here? Thank you, spirit. And we got Judas. So somebody was speaking a lot of lies. This is a very deceptive energy. Judas, they tell stories, you know, and this is definitely someone who could be kind of like playing on your heartstrings, bringing up nostalgic memories, um, you know, because remember you had um, moments in love playing. Uh, so I do feel like this is someone that you, you know, at one point in time you loved, but then, you know, you had to turn your back on the situation because you discovered this person was definitely very deceptive. This is someone, remember you had deception, um, technology, the illusionist. So there's someone who's still like, um, trying to conjure up some way to, um, you know, lure you back in. And this could be that person you showed compassion to. So maybe because you're being compassionate and you're being kind, they're misreading that and they're thinking that there's some sort of way to reconcile. But I feel like with this energy, they're, they're being very calculating, um, and they will be deceptive in their communication. So there is going to be some sort of lies, some sort of illusion. They're painting some some sort of illusion, and you're going to have to um, you have to you're going to have to use discernment. You're going to have to use your intuition because I do feel like somebody is definitely um, very aware. Um, you know that you are moving on and into another connection. So we have you are beauty in every fashion of the word, and it says internal and external. So someone definitely, you know, from your past, maybe this is someone who has tried to transform or who has tried transformed from, um, you know, being this very deceptive person who's now realizing and recognizing just how beautiful you are, how much of a wish fulfillment you are. Maybe they, you know, didn't um, know your worth or see your worth and value in the past because maybe you were different, maybe because you're someone who's, um, you know, quirky, weird. Um, you know, maybe you have this very, you know, strong, um, mysticism about you. And this is something that, you know, kind of always kept them questioning, you know, if you were being your authentic self and now they see that this is just you, you're you unapologetically, and that's becoming very attractive to them. Um, maybe they've seen you blossom into this very beautiful, um, person, um, and you know, whatever the case may be with this Judas, there is deception somewhere here in this picture, but I do feel like someone is recognizing, um, you know, they're cherishing those moments, those fond memories, you know, of the past. And, you know, they may communicate something to you, uh, in pertinence to, you know, maybe wanting to try again. And I feel like, you know, with Judas here, uh, it's just not something that I would, um, I would jump into because the divine is telling you to trust your intuition because you do have another lover here who's a secret admirer and they love what they see. So divine spirit of love and light. Why is leap of faith here and that prosperity? Why is leap of faith here? Divine spirit. Thank you, spirit. And so we have love and happiness. See that? So the divine is definitely telling you to take a leap of faith when this love, the secret admirer reveal, reveals themselves. Maybe someone was lying to themselves. This could also speak to deception, self-deception. You know what I'm saying? Because now someone is cherishing the times, the moments that they shared with you and with love and happiness, spiritual union. I feel like this person definitely is going to come in and, you know, want to take that risk. Uh, this can lead to a marriage with the Trinity here. This is family. Um, this is love. This is unconditional love. This is man, woman, and child. So you could find yourself um, not only getting married, but also having a child, bearing a child from this person. I feel like this is also saying that this is a f very strong uh, commitment and partnership that you'll be a part of and with compassion here and we got you ain't got to lie Craig so I do feel like you you know mama 
uh, Quan Yin is telling you um, to show compassion to someone because maybe someone did have difficulty um, expressing their truth. And it's because they was, you know, listening to a bunch of people um, in their ear. Maybe there was some competition. Um, I don't feel like they were in their power. I feel like they was definitely um, functioning and operating from their shadow side. So there was there was some level of self-deception. But with You Ain't Got to Lie, Craig, and this is um, Kuan Yin, I feel like Kuan Yin is telling you not to judge this person, um, to give them, you know, give them a chance that it's, it's saying focus on the love and light that is within everyone. So uh, this is a very powerful message because I know a lot of Scorpios are saying, you know, F that past person. F anybody that was lying, being deceptive. But with Kuan Yin here and compassion showing up twice, I feel like the divine is saying that, look, nobody's perfect. And we've all told white tales. Um, and so it's like you can't um, judge someone forever based off of, you know, the ignorance, you know, that they may have, um, you know, that they may have exhibited in the past. Uh, the divine is telling you to cherish the day, cherish that moment in time, that right now. It's like, don't look into the past. Once we step into 2022, you function from that. You don't focus on what happened in 1995 or 2002 or 2021. It's like, cherish the day, cherish that day. You know, when this person finally opens up their throat chakra, um, the divine is telling you that things can absolutely transform. Something can change for the better, but it requires you to see the situation from a different perspective, a different vantage point. And the vine is also saying, take a leap of faith because this person is secretly admiring you and they love what they see. They love your transformation. They love how you love yourself. And they've learned a great deal by watching you change and transform. And now they are going to start expressing how they feel. But there's a lot of love and happiness that could take place. And with the Trinity here, I do feel like this could be a very strong union. This could be something that develops, as I said, into a very strong spiritual um union and a divine counterpart and we have um most deaf umi says so i feel like um with umi says i feel like no most deaf is what i'm chiming in on i feel like the divine is saying this most definitely can be a very uh powerful spiritual union divine counterpart connection but you have to not uh judge you know that's what i keep hearing not judge and forgiveness opened it up compassion ended it so show forgiveness and be compassionate Forgiveness is forgiving someone for the past, not judging their past actions because we're all imperfect. So if this is a past life love situation, um, even if this is an ex, a past, you know your story. Um, this is what the divine is telling you. This is what the cards are saying. So I feel like, you know, you all know who you are with this heart chakra here. I definitely feel like, you know, you all have healed. And by healing yourself, you've helped heal your divine partner, your divine counterpart. If someone is returning and they're returning changed and you see the changes that have been implemented, because I do feel like not only have you changed and transformed, I feel like your person has also gone through those changes. And so the divine is telling you it's okay to take this leap of faith because we heard every prayer and petition that you sent up and now we're propelling the universe. And that's probably why patience was required. You know, divine timing is always of, um, of essence. And I feel like by you healing yourself, you've helped to heal someone else. But I thank you all for tuning and tapping in, beloved Scorpios. You have a beautiful uh, sixth universal year. You have harmony, love, emotional balance, financial blessings, spiritual power. It's like you're coming into your own. You're coming full circle. Positive changes are uh, taking place for you all. And you have a very beautiful connection. And I feel like this is most definitely happening because we have most deaf playing Umi says. So if you are new, I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is, my beloveds. Love is love is love. I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Hope you stay a while. Definitely hit the like, share, subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. But I do appreciate you all tuning and tapping in. Until next time, peace, love, and light. Ashe.